Is everything all right? Oh, hello. Nice to see you again. Thank you for asking. And I'm afraid everything's not all right. I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. You might recall that I was trying to cast non-verbally when we met in the common room. Well, I mastered that. And now I've taken to creating my own charms. Thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation, because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. That sounds brilliant, actually. Thank you. Somehow I don't think the librarian will see it that way. I collect the books and remove the charm myself, except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around, so she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps you could get them for me. There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. Why did Army tell Madame Scribner that they were your books? Oh, to be perfectly honest, I don't think he meant any harm. I think he was impressed, bragging on my behalf. Amit spends a lot of time gazing at the stars, but he knows a good charm when he sees one. I suppose I could help, if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. If you could collect them and bring them to me, I can remove the charm. I'm going to have to use Akio to get to his books. Got it. Only four more to go. Akio! Revelio! Rebellion. Revelio. How nice to see you, my young friend. This must be Cressida's diary. I'd want this back too if I were her. Rebellion. Accio. 
That's the last book. Now to take them back to Cressida. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Rebellion. Watch out! It's the troll slayer of Hesse. Revelio. Any luck finding my diary? Hello, Cressida. I collected your books, including your diary. Oh, what a relief. Thank you. I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. Here you are. Well, lesson learned. I certainly won't be practicing any charms in the library again anytime soon. Now, to work out where I went wrong. Perhaps I should start brushing up on my Latin. Thank goodness some people are trustworthy. Certainly wouldn't want anyone but me reading my diary. It's a relief to finally have an answer as to why that portrait was empty. I wish there was something I could do. The headmaster. Revelio. Lumos.
should make it. Lucan's just over there. Let me also. Revelio. Revelio. Rebellion. Revelio. Can I help you? Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinate duels for crossed ones. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. I'm flattered to hear that. Sebastian's not a bad duelist either. Imagine it's quite something to see the two of you duel. How does cross ones work exactly? You show up, I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And to liven things up. Of course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in Crossed Ones, you could duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along or duel alone. So, care to step into the ring? Get me in the ring. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! We'll make you regret signing up. Sebastian wasn't wrong about you. 
There's strong competition ahead, but keep this up and you could be the next school champion. Brilliant. Count me in. I shall. In fact, the second jewel is ready when you are. And as a fully initiated member, you now have access to the official Crossed Ones training dummy. Very good way to master spell combinations. Come and see me and I'll set it up. Again, congratulations on your first Crossed Ones victory. Well fought. Hope to see you back here again. Hello, Lucan. May I use the training dummy? Of course. I'll fetch it and give you a list of combinations to practice. Ready to have a try now? That would be wonderful. Be sure to cast all your spells before the dummy lands. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Akio! Excellent fall! Levy That's it! Levy Osho! Lunos! Akio! Next time, perhaps! Levy Osho! Good one. I'd say that's enough practice. You looked good out there. Thank you, Lucan. I say better to discover one's weaknesses during practice than during a duel. You'll be a fearsome challenger now. Hello, Lucan. Is the next round of Crossed Ones all set? Why, yes it is. I've got a great match lined up. Ready for another round? I'm ready. Let's do it. Brilliant. Are you dueling with a partner? I'll be dueling solo. Then let's get to it. Ready to get thrashed? Apologies in advance. Goes my way. Stupid one, Akio. Come on. You're going to the match. Stupid one. Stupid one. Don't try away now. I gave it my all. You did indeed. The other duelists have already taken notice of you. But after that last round, they'll really have it in for you. You'd better keep practicing if you want a chance at winning. <laughs> or at least surviving the next round. I'll let you know when we're ready. Hope to see you then.
The next round is for all the gobstones, so to speak. Assignment's all finished. Rebellion. in the fresh air would do wonders for you. Lumos. Revelion. Lumos. Rebellion. Lumos. Akio. Levioso. Rebellion. What are you up to now? Rebellion. I trust Mr. Brattleby was able to accommodate you and that you found success in your endeavors. I finished all of the tasks you gave me, Professor Hackett. Glad to hear it. Then you should be ready to learn Incendio. Should be, Professor. Yes. I'm sorry to say I visited enough careless colleagues at St. Mungo's to assure you that Fire is a fickle servant. Your spellcasting has impressed me thus far, but please maintain focus. I would rather we not end today's lesson with your robes aflame. Let us begin. And remember, focus on the proper wand movement. Concentrate and keep your wand steady.
Good work. Feel free to practice in the classroom before you go. And send up a few targets for you. Levioso. Incendio. Getting it. Keep at it. And do try not to incinerate yourself. Levioso. Incendio. Setting things ablaze is certainly cathartic, isn't it? Incendio. Levioso. Incendio. Off on another adventure, are we? Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. One never knows when society will be thrown. Ready for a little change in fashion, are we? Plenty to choose from here, so take your time. You won't be disappointed. That's a glad rag's promise. You won't be disappointed. That's a glad rag's promise. You won't be disappointed. That's a glad rag's promise. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion.
by whenever you're about. You won't be disappointed. That's a glad rags promise. Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. You won't be disappointed. That's a glad rags promise. Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. I expect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by when Revelio. Hello there. Please uh, come in. Let me know if you need help finding anything. Yes, we'll come with you. Not with John. Ah, there you are. Hello, sir. You'll be pleased to know that I worked on my defensive magic with Professor Eckert. So I hear. She tells me you've taken rather well to your new wand. You must continue to work with her and your other professors to improve your skills. That said, I don't wish to postpone our visit to the library any longer. So, shall we proceed? Fig, I have work for you. Come. Headmaster, I'm with a student and my schedule Your is... schedule will wait indefinitely, as will your student. I would think that after all the trouble you caused me with Osric, you'd be eager to make amends. My office. Five minutes. That man is exasperating. Unfortunately, our trip to the restricted section will have to wait a bit longer. But, Professor... We have no choice. It would be unwise to provoke our illustrious headmaster further. I shall find you when I've completed whatever toils I must endure. Revelio.
Sebastian mentioned sneaking into the restricted section. Perhaps he'll have an idea. Revelio. Sebastian, there you are. There you are? You promised me an explanation for what happened in the Three Broomsticks. Not many students have Victor Rookwood's attention. What was that all about? I've never even met him. Perhaps he mistook me for another student. If you say so. I won't press you now, but you will have to tell me what's going on at some point. You might need me. So... Why were you looking for me? I need to find something for Professor Fig, but it's in the restricted section of the library. <laughs> he can't get it himself? He was called away by Black at the last moment. I suppose I could wait to get a note from him, but... You want to show some initiative? Precisely. You mentioned being clever enough not to get caught in the restricted section. And I am. Meet me outside the library tonight, and tell no one. How concerned should I be about the librarian? Madam Scribner doesn't take kindly to clandestine activities taking place amongst her precious books. So do all that you can to avoid her. She and I have had our entanglements, but I can hold my own against her. You may not be so lucky. What will happen if we're caught in the restricted section? Detention, no doubt. But a word of caution or two will help. For one, avoid Peeves, the poltergeist. Aside from wanton destruction of property, he loves nothing more than telling on the likes of us. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll meet you later. See there? That's the door we need to reach. And those annoying prefects would love nothing more than to rat on us to Scribner. So don't let them see us. Understood? I can be sneaky. Let's go. Hold on now. There's a spell you should know. The disillusionment charm. Good for getting places you're not supposed to be. Cast it and you'll appear as little more than a trick of the light. Just as long as you keep your distance and stay quiet. You mean I'll actually be able to turn invisible? Something like that. It's not as foolproof as a cloak, but those are expensive. And spells, spells are free. Give it a try. I shall pretend I cannot see you.
librarian's still here. Quick, behind the bookcase. You told me the librarian would be gone by now. I said usually, but it'll still be all right. Do you see her desk behind me? The key is in the drawer of that desk. Now, here's what we're going to do. I'll create a distraction to draw her away. You focus on getting the key. I'll meet you outside of the restricted section. Wait, why do we need a key? Isn't there a spell for this? Alohomora. That's how I always used to get in. But the librarian twigged that I knew the spell and cast an anti Alohomora charm on the lock. So now it's just this key. But don't worry. I said I'd get you in, and I always keep my word. Trust me. Is someone there? Is that you, Peeves? The key. Here it is. Wasn't so difficult after all. How to find that book? Revelio. Oh, that one's charm to look more useful than it is. It's fooled me twice. Never judge a tome by its cover, I say. Ghost, don't let her see you. Revelio. Should be in the clear. There's no need for us to be skulking about. So what is it you've been looking for? I'm looking for a cure to help my twin sister, Anne, so that she can return to Hogwarts. 
because Merlin knows everyone else has given up. Why do you think we'll find a cure in the restricted section? Does the Hogwarts matron have nothing that can help Anne? No, we've tried everyone from Nurse Blaney to St. Mongo's. But I can research on my own. No need to concern yourself with that right now. Let's focus on what you're after. Which is what, precisely? I'll know it when I see it. You're being awfully cryptic. Secrets of the darkest arts. I'm impressed. shouldn't be. Naughty, naughty, you'll get caught. Peeves, don't you... I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. <laughs> oh, blasted Peeves. I've got to stop him or at least get to the librarian with a good excuse for all of this. Wait, I don't want you getting into trouble for me. I have a way with the faculty when it comes to disciplinary matters. Besides, I like having friends who are in my debt. Now go. Good luck in your search. Now, where has that damned poltergeist got to? I know just the spell to repair this armor. Repair her. of ancient magic. There must be more to this room. Rebellion! Incendio! Rebellion.
Not surprising. Guards at the ready. Rebellion. Rebellion. This must be the way forward, but to where? Rebellion. Rebellion.
here. Incendio. Revelio. Let me say. Incendio.
You wanted to see me, Headmistress Fitzgerald, Professor Rackham. Miss Isadora Morganach, welcome. Professor Rookwood, Professor Bacar. We understand that you are adjusting well to life at Hogwarts. I am. I am glad. Especially in light of your unusual situation, starting as a fifth year. As it happens, I was also admitted to Hogwarts as a fifth year. I have never heard of another like us. Miss Morganoff, when we spoke yesterday after class, you asked about the beautiful swirls you saw years ago when we visited your hamlet. I recognized you all immediately. I cannot thank you enough for what you did. We were glad to help. And yes, I did see swirls of magic everywhere that day. My father insists it was my imagination running wild, but it was certainly real to me. It was not your imagination. Percival, Professor Rackham can see them too, but we have never known of another who could. I don't understand. What are they? The whispers or traces that appear when a particular form of ancient magic is wielded. Ancient magic? Few are capable of wielding it. Hogwarts itself is a stronghold of ancient magic. So if I can see traces of ancient magic, does that mean I can wield it too? With the proper training. But let us not get ahead of ourselves, Miss Morganach. Before I can train you to wield such magic, you must first master all that Hogwarts has to offer. A magic this powerful can do great harm in the wrong hands. It must be wielded by a select few. As such, we ask that you not speak to anyone about what we have discussed here today. Sebastian. Sneaking in the restricted section again! I had thought we were through with this mischief. Clearly, detentions are insufficient. I'm afraid I must take this to the headmaster. But that being said, Peeves informs me that you didn't come alone tonight. If someone has coerced you, I would have you tell me. You're a bright boy. Don't waste this. There was nobody else. I came alone. Oh, Sebastian. What will your uncle say? Incendio! 